Hi, and welcome to Be Well with Miss Tanya. Today I have a special segment I would like to speak with you on, and it's surrounding wellness. The World Health Organization defines wellness as being a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. And not just merely the absence of having a disease or infirmity. So when I say be well, I'm asking you to be aware and make choices towards a healthy and fulfilling life. Wellness is important because everything that we do and everything we feel relates to our well-being. There are eight dimensions of wellness, and it is important to balance each dimension, and the eight dimensions include emotional wellness, social wellness, environmental wellness, spiritual wellness, financial wellness, intellectual wellness, occupational wellness, and physical wellness. Emotional wellness is understanding your feelings and coping effectively with stress paying attention to self-care, relaxation, and just reducing stress. Environmental wellness is living in harmony with the earth, taking action to protect it. Raise your awareness to your environment. Financial wellness means learning how to successfully manage your financial expenses. Financial stress is a huge source of uh, anxiety and fear. Intellectual wellness is having an open mind when you have new ideas. Expand your knowledge. Occupational wellness means finding satisfaction in your life through your work. And physical wellness is maintaining a good physical health through exercise, eating, eating well, um, enough sleep, and getting help with when, you, when you are feeling sick. Social wellness helps to create a support network, allowing you to build healthy relationships. Spiritual wellness is represented through relaxation or religion. So being spiritual, spiritually well means knowing which to use when issues come up in your life. Let's look at self-care versus wellness. When you are in self-care mode, uh, this includes all the things you do to care for your emotional, physical, psychological, and spiritual health. When I say be well, when, when you're in wellness mode, in order to be considered well, all areas of emotional, environmental, financial, intellectual, occupational, physical wellness, social wellness, and spiritual wellness must not be neglected. So as you can see, it's a task to try to be well. So when I tell you to be well, make sure you look at all eight dimensions and try to find the positive in each one. This leads to having a wellness holiday. With a wellness holiday, what I'm asking you to do, choose one day out of the week. Use this day to experience some peace by engaging in positive thoughts, positive activities, and only talk to positive people on this day. Stay away from all negativity that means the news. Do not start your day and end your day with the news. This day will exclude the news totally. This is your declared day of peace for yourself. There's no right or wrong way to do this, so just make sure that you have managed to smile from the inside out all day long. Choose one day of the week to experience interacting with each other in a positive way. Do not hear, speak, or see anything negative. Only experience peace and laughter. Sometimes, some of you may have children, and you say, well, I can't be well because I have kids. Well, 
this is what you do. You choose this one day of the week involving your children and you experience interacting together uh, in a positive way on this day. So you're teaching your, not only will you be well, but you're teaching your children early to be well. Let's look at an example. You may choose a Saturday to binge watch your favorite movie. Stay away from the news and anything or conversation that is negative. The goal is to experience only peace on this day. Begin to condi condition your family members and friends of your wellness holiday so that they understand not to interfere with any negativity that may disrupt your peace. And then everybody will begin to be well, everyone around you, at least one day out of the week. And we can work on those eight dimensions. Note, the way you celebrate your holiday is it's your choice, as long as the end result is peace. Let's look at an activity that may help you with your wellness holiday. Be present with yourself. Say, I'm giving myself my full attention. Be responsive. Say, I identify with my needs and I will respond appropriately to them. Contact. Say, I hold myself with respect and awareness. I offer myself calmness and peace. And delight. Say, I am delighted to be with myself. Then enjoy your holiday. For more information, please check out our website, www.dcsirish.com. Follow us on Instagram, Dublin City Schools Irish, or go to our YouTube channel, Be Well with Miss Tanya. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to be well.